That is really cool. Soak it in. Soak it in. Wait, do you have What are you doing? Cliff jumping. How are you feeling? Excellent. <laughs> she actually did it. Finally. Yeah. Woo! Good, Good job, Alyssa. Go. <laughs> oh, How was that? That was awesome! Yeah. Are you from here? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Croatia. Not from the Roaming, but from Croatia. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks Thank for you. Yeah. Enjoy your here. travel. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bye. Well, as you can tell, I have not learned my lesson about putting on sunscreen yet. <sighs> I'm an idiot. So we're currently in Budva. Uh, I'm actually in the resort that we're staying at. This is an amazing resort. It's an upgrade. It's not the usual place that they stay, but our, our tour manager was able to swing it. And yeah, it's, it's a massive resort with uh, pools, multiple pools, multiple restaurants. Um, and it's about a five minute walk from the beach, which is pretty awesome. So it's been raining most of the day. It just cleared up a moment ago. Uh, the group is trying to figure out what to do. I think some of us are gonna go swimming. And yeah, just check out the town a little bit, uh, as much as we can do in the rain. But it's been a really great trip so far. We did the kayaking in Dubrovnik, which was really cool. Uh, we did the dinner cruise in Dubrovnik. Uh, we've got some other dinner cruises lined up. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a great trip. And one of the things I like so far is that the average age is much higher than my last trip. So I would say half the group is probably older than 25 and the other half is under 25. So uh, I am actually not even the oldest one on this trip, so there is at least three of us that are 34 and 35, uh, including my roommate, so yeah, it's a nice change. Uh, I definitely have a lot more in common with a lot of people on this trip uh, from that regards, but um, it's a quick one, and I can't believe it's already four days in, and we only have 11 days left with most of the group, uh, and only six days left with um, the other part of the group, so um, yeah, let's see what Budva has to offer, and we'll go from there.
So despite the rain, we are here at Mogren Beach here in Budva. What do you guys think of Budva? It's amazing. We like it. Am I even saying that right? Is it Budva? I think it's Budva. Bu Budva? <laughs> We're in Budva, Montenegro, which is incredible. What do you guys think of Montenegro? I love Budva. Yeah. I can't believe more tourists don't come here. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. If you get the chance, come and check it out and look at the amazing stuff that Budva has to offer. Oh, okay. Okay, wait. Trap. Oh, God. <laughs> Like the devil, the devil <laughs> monster. <laughs> that's Budva. <laughs> that's Budva. This is uh, Kyle and Corey's Kentucky Cousins. This is Sam and Sarah. Uh, we're here in Mostar? Mostar? Yeah. Mostar. Mostar in Bosnia and her, uh, Herzegovina. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how to say any words, so that's why they're here. Uh, and we're hoping to see someone jump, because if we see someone jump, it's going to be good luck. Yeah. You think we're going to see someone jump? I hope uh, so. I yeah. Hope so. yeah, I Thank hope so you. too. Yeah, we'll find out. We could be here a while though. Kyle, you've done that jump? Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah. I need to become a man. <laughs> Do you think we're going to get good luck as a result though? I hope so. Yeah, me too. Before you find your destiny. We just did this local dinner here in Sarajevo and we got to hang out with these lovely ladies. Uh, we had mashed potatoes, a bunch of stuff I can't pronounce. It was all delicious. It was amazing. Yeah. Stuff onions and Baklava. Baklava. And then we had, we had uh, coffee. coffee. It was so good. We had Very bites of sugar and then drink the coffee. Yeah, it was yeah. incredible. Definitely recommend. Bye. 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 We're playing bowling in our hotel. Yeah. That's how cool this hotel is in Sarajevo. <laughs> What's your strategy, Sam? <laughs> That's my strategy. Wow! Yeah, look at good. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, 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 oh. Told you I'm good. <laughs> Rest that through by the horns, take it. Lack of yours, take it. Take it, on, take it until it falls. Where's the man? Where's the man? Papi, 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 papi. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done. Nice. The most work he's done. Where are we? Where are we again? Sarajevo. 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 Well, well, to her. I did the Sarajevo leg. Until the next time. We are the tour bus. Everyone's here. See you next country. <laughs> So I'm currently walking through the Tunnel of Hope, which is located here in Sarajevo. They built this tunnel to bring supplies during the war from the early 1990s from the airport side 
uh, well, across the airport side. So there was a side that was controlled by the Serbian troops, and then there's a side that was controlled by the Sarajevo troops, and they needed this tunnel to be able to bring supplies back and forth. What's really cool is that they built this tunnel in only four months. It's about 800 meters long, which should take them about two years, and they only did it with shovels and no modern technology, which is crazy. So we're eating a chivapi, which is a, a, I guess, a Bosnian dish. And yeah, it looks amazing. It's meat. This is kaimak, which is a, a cream cheese of some kind. And this is the first time I've ever had it. Our trip manager, Stacy, has been talking this up. So uh, she's actually the one controlling the camera right now. <laughs> That is really good, especially with that cheese. You normally don't eat meat. I mean, you have like a cheeseburger, but you normally don't, don't have meat with cheese like this. This is really good. And this right here is a, a yogurt, which is just liquid yogurt. It tastes like a yam, for anyone that knows what a yam is. There you go. <laughs> This is our uh, tour manager, Stacy. Say hi. Hi. And we're right now on the bobsled track. So this was from the 1984 Olympics here. As you can see, it is completely different than it used to be. You can walk it, it's covered in graffiti, there's overgrowth everywhere. It actually looks really pretty this way. I'm, I mean, I'm sad to admit I actually prefer it this way, I think, than an actual bobsled track. But this country is incredible, and I think if you get a chance, you should definitely come check it out. Have you done this before? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. Great views of the city coming up on the, on the cable car. Yeah, that's true. And then getting to check out this place. The graffiti is actually really, really amazing and makes all the photos look great. It's a sad story, you know, because it's now been left derelict from the Winter Olympics because of Sarajevo being a war-torn city, but um, people still come to visit maybe some highlights from what used to be. It's a really, really cool place to see. So everyone should come and see it. Yeah, 100%. This we decided to be really crazy and go beyond the end of the wall of the bobsled track. Oh, Rusty says he's found it. So we think we've made it to the end. Is it as anticlimactic as we feared? No rainbows. We thought there might be a pot of gold. It is just this. And a couple of scary snakes. <laughs> and there's a road here. A little track. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not the last part. The last part was not worth it, but the rest of it was definitely worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Gorgeous. It's really, really nice. How yeah. far up this way is it? It's just past like maybe another 20 meters once oh, you get to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I'm just joking. It's terrible. There's nothing there. <laughs> There's nothing there. Oh, <laughs> oh, We're at the, you're at the end. You're at the end. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. It's so sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> got the girls with me. Welcome okay. to America. We're in Serbia. We're not in America. <laughs> yeah, but we're America. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're yeah. True, you're a true American if you watch this all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> like, and subscribe comes at the end. This might be the beginning of the vlog. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Click down below, like, and uh, press the bell button to get notifications. Subscribe, <laughs> unsubscribe, and subscribe again. <laughs> So yeah, we're, I think, at the halfway point of the trip so far, so it's been a really good group. The average age on this trip is a lot older than the last trip, which has been really nice. I think half the group is older than 25, and the, the other half is younger than 25, so it's been a lot easier to get to know people. Yeah, 
songs. We had like a half of those. Oh, Susanna. Really and we gave them like, how much did we give them? I think probably like whole five euros. Yeah. Which is like a few. Yeah, we did really no, well. More than that. More than that. We had three euros and then all that change. I mean, is it like a hundred? Is it one? 107 is one euro, yeah. We gave them. Drunk man. Drunk, drunk man. Beginning to rethink my choice of friends. I'm a good lawn bowler. <laughs> We got your comments and now we're in Budapest. I got Sean and Michaela with me. Uh, uh, we're not saying it right, but cheers in uh, in Hungary. Uh, we're just coming up on the parliament building right now and everyone is now trying to get the prime real estate which I've stolen. So I'm gonna squeeze over so they can get a little spot. I don't know why more people don't come here. I had never even heard of it before this trip, but it's a really special city. And now this is the second time I've been here in the last two months. I think uh, the reason I like it a lot is that it's, it's Europe, but it feels like a small town, like a safe Europe. It reminds me a lot of Copenhagen in a lot of ways. Uh, there's beautiful water, lots of stuff to do on the street. Everyone's very friendly. It, you feel safe walking around here. Uh, I'm not constantly worried about pickpockets or anything like that. The toilets, at least the ones around me right now, are free, which is also very rare. I just, yeah, put it on your list if it's not on your list. We're going to a traditional Slovenian folklore dance tonight and dinner, and we're going to be meeting a lot of the new group that joined us in Budapest this morning. So we actually gained 30 new people, and we also lost a lot of the group, which was tough. Uh, but the new group seems great. I'm only going to be with them for four days. I finish with them in split and then they continue on and some of them will go all the way back to Budapest and do the full loop. Uh, but I will then be joining my next trip, the Croatian Island sailing trip. But I should really get going. I have to meet the group in six minutes now. So uh, let's check out the folklore dancing. What a great privilege is it, to be featuring in Contiki Odyssey 2019 YouTube. Please click the subscribe button, like the page, and you'll be notified every time that we post a new video. Yes. Oh my God. I didn't even ask him to say any of that. <laughs> Max, Max, you're my new favorite person. <laughs> Bite my ear. <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Happy travels, happy holidays. Yeah. Yeah. You too, but I just want to thank you for everything you've done. Katiki, keep it up. Where else can we go? You're welcome. We're having a late night uh, 
ice cream. This is a cheesecake, trash tallow, and more cheesecake. Uh, we just left the bar. And uh, Stacy decided we needed gelato. And when Stacy wants, Stacy gets. Hey! How are you? Alright, Max, where are we? Complete with the legs, Croatia. You say that really well. Would you like to carry on the interview? I keep going to call it Plitvice, but. Plitvice. Plitvice. Ah, that. Yezera. Yezera. Plitvice, Yezera, Kratza. Hrvatska. Hrvatska. What do you think of it so far? I think it's very nice, very pretty. Yeah? Alice, what do you think? Very nice. It's good. You know, I say it a lot, but it's amazing how close you can grow with these people in such a short period of time. It's going to be hard to say goodbye, as always. Uh, you make friends for life. Luckily, with things like Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp, you can keep in touch with these people for a very long period of time, but it doesn't make it any easier to say goodbye. But we just got to make most of the time we have with everyone and enjoy what we're doing. Oh, I've got the whole group coming over here. Well, not the whole group. Hi, everyone. Good, how are you guys? Good. I was just doing a vlog. Come, come here, say hello. Good job, did you guys? Awesome. Did you guys? Yes. Oh, nice. How are Corey's followers today? Yeah, how are, how are my followers? You guys doing good? <laughs> What'd you guys have for, uh, for lunch? Pizza. Pizza, pizza and pizza. Huh? Pizza with an R? You lit pizza, pizza with an R. Tip the girl 26 pizza. euros. You made a mistake. You tipped us 26 euros. <laughs> well, I made her day and that made and then my she day. Said she'll so give us free drinks tonight. Yeah, yeah, so I've never here. been happy. Guys, if you look in here and you find like an earring, it's mine. Oh, you lost your earring? And my scrunchie in one jump. Oh my god. <laughs> I crash your heart, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy it. Right, right, people, people, money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> you got it completely wrong, but it's fine, it's fine. Mark Mecca! <laughs> <laughs> it's not that long! Oh my god, easy love. It's easy love. Oh my god. It's not so long when you have no bread. USA! Yeah. We're actually pretty lucky. This isn't even part of the itinerary. We just had some extra free time today, and uh, Stacy and Rusty were able to organize this for us. So yeah, it's, it's a very hot day today. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sweat pouring off my head. Uh, you look pretty fresh, which is well annoying for me. Con but. Con yes, considering I was sweating quite a lot uh, last night at the club. What happened? You know? uh, what happened last night? Let's sweat it all up. Uh, last night, well, last night uh, we had a very eventful evening. Um, after we watched the sunset go down in uh, Zadar, we went to a lounge bar and it was all going good until about uh, 2 a.m. And then uh, someone got ejected from the club. And then oh, we follow him. Who, who is that someone? Um, that might have been me. Might have been you. Might have been me. That so, was. what did you do to, to get ejected from a club in Zadar? Well, um, I was just, you know, grinding, uh, dancing with a certain female friend of mine. Okay. And uh, I unfortunately lost my hey, balance. Wait, wait, wait. The certain female friend of yours is right there. Uh, here she is. Here she is. In the flesh. Hello. Uh, Listen to Max. He's not that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were dancing, you know. Uh, very, uh, having a little boogie. Having a little boogie, yep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I fell and uh, took you down with me, didn't I? Then we got kicked out. And then we got kicked out. Yeah. Oh, did you get kicked out as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we thought, right, well, where do we go? And then luckily there was a club right across the road. We went there. Stayed to 3 a.m. Went back, found a, found a greasy burger. Slept two hours, got back on the coach. Round two tomorrow. And that was only like a few hours ago, so yeah. Yeah. Back at it. Never a dull moment on Kentucky. Never.
All right, should we go swimming? Hashtag best of both. Hashtag best of both. All right, guys. This is it. Hi. Hello. It ends where it all began here in Split. Did you guys enjoy our time? Yes. Thoroughly. Lost my voice. Yeah, we lost a lot of things along the way on this trip. Our memories, our phones, our wallets, our voices, our dignity. That was a long 15 days, but I think we all had a good time. Uh, we're pretty much all that's left of the original group at this point. Uh, I think there's a few more stragglers that aren't with us, but... Max, uh, Max went to go buy a shirt. Max is dead. But yeah, this was the best of the Balkans trip. July of 2019, and uh, I'll see you on the Croatian sailing trip. Bye. I miss you guys, see ya.